Hey everyone, it's BlueBass86. I'm going to do a quick video. Um, I know a lot of people know that I make my own baits. And I've had a couple requests on videos on how I make my own. Um, there's a ton of videos out there on how to make your own jigs, your own baits. But I guess people want to see how I make mine. Uh, it's nothing real fancy. I'm going to be making a little brown jig, LBJ whatever you want to call it. Uh, I've already got a couple of them made ready to be tied so I'm going to try to make this pretty quick. So, three out eagle claw hook. Uh, you just need the weed guard pin. This is just a regular ball head, weedless ball head bolt by Do It. Uh, it's actually the, I guess the medium sized one so this is a uh, 5 16th instead of a quarter ounce. It's a little bit heavier. Let's see if I can fit a wire keeper in here. Most jig molds will fit a wire keeper with just a little bit of convincing and then you'll go through a lot less trailer keep or a lot less trailers with that keeper in there. You'll just a lot of times end up with this where you got to clean it up a little bit but that's not really a big deal so that was just a quick easy little pour clean it up a little bit they're usually cleaner than that but because I wanted the keeper on there you get a little bit of a little bit of extra because the mold isn't closed completely but that's not a big deal. Just gotta clean that off of there so your jig gets cleaned up fairly good. I don't worry about mine being super pretty, the ones that I'm tying for myself, because I'm just fishing them. And the fish don't care if they're pretty or not. They look pretty, that's nice, but it's not a big deal. Uh, heat gun. Harbor Freight. I don't know how much they cost. Not very much, but you just crank that up. All the different color paints up here. The refills for the different color paints down here. These are just the small tubs. I don't have a, any of the air fluid beds that make this easy because I like to do things the hard way. I got toothpicks in here, just plain brown Protec paint. About five to seven seconds over the heat. Swirl it through there. You don't want to overcoat it because you overcoat it, it's gonna drip and make a mess. <clears throat> Not a big deal. I just used a hook to clean it out, but. Which is what I normally do, is these Teflon pins go up inside of there, they can go over the heat, the heat doesn't hurt them at all. Then you dip them, so you don't have to worry about it clogging up the hole. Just an old toaster oven, had it for years. And they go in that for 20 minutes on 350 degrees. jig heads that look like this. So those Teflon pins, they went through the toaster oven, no problem. And you see it leaves the weed guard hole nice and clean. So now we come over here to the workbench. I've just got a old cheap fly tying vise. Clamp that in there. Like I said, as the name says, LBJ. This is a brown jig. There's nothing exciting about it. But you don't have to make fancy colored jigs to catch fish. Uh, for these, for the finesse jigs, you would think finesse jig, you want less skirt material. I like to put three tabs on a finesse jig because this is going to be a finesse cut skirt which means it's not going to be doubled over like a normal skirt where
when you tie this, you would go, you know, just so it's going to fold back over and you're going to have a big full skirt. What I'm going to do is tie it up high like this. It's just copper wire I get from the uh, craft store Hobby Lobby. It's probably 2018 gauge somewhere around in there. So you lay these up on there, around the back, flip it over, get some cheap little needle nose pliers from uh, Harbor Freight, dollar a piece. Don't want to twist this too tight because if you twist it too tight, it'll cut your skirt material and your skirt will fall off. But you want to twist it tight enough. Really right when you twist and you start to feel good resistance, that's when it's tight enough. So I twisted that down. Dollar wire cutters from Harbor Freight, little wire cutters. Cut that fairly short but not too short. Pulled it down so it's not sticking up or it's going to stab you or poke the fish, give them something to feel when they grab your bait. Grab onto the top of it and I lay it right on top of the jig head. Cut that and then however you like the bottom of your skirt. Now all you got to do is add a weed guard. I use epoxy, it's just Gorilla Glue, five, uh, five minute epoxy. Mix that up, dip the tip of the weed guard. These are boss weed guards. These are nice because they don't have all the strings that you get on some of the cheap weed guards. They cost a little bit more, but I'm not going to do it because I have more jigs I want to do and I don't want to waste uh, my epoxy, but mix it up, dip it in there, you got to pull this weed, the skirt material down out of the way, push that weed guard up in there, and you'll have a fully ready to fish jig in 20-30 minutes, so I can make these in the morning or right before a trip if I have a color that I want to do and it'll be dry by the time I get to the lake ready to fish. So that's how I do a finesse jig anyway. So I guess if anybody likes these, this uh, jig building video and you wanna see other baits that I make, just let me know, comment, and uh, let me know what other baits you might wanna see if, if you like the video. So that's it, we'll...